Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. Remember what a big deal cordless phones were in the 80s and 90s? Well, it wasn't too long before engineers expanded this untethering idea to other gadgets. So nowadays we've got 2.4 gigahertz gaming headsets, Bluetooth Christmas lights, and enough LTE signals flying through the air to make any passing extraterrestrials think that we communicate solely through some kind of primitive form of hieroglyphics. But one modern device has lagged behind the others. In this era of wireless keyboards, wireless mice, and wireless networking, our monitors seem to be the one thing that still needs a long clunky cable running across the desk. So what gives? Well, for starters, this observation isn't completely true. There are wireless display standards that have been around for quite some time. And I'm not talking about features like casting, where your phone or your device just sends an instruction over Wi-Fi for your TV to access a YouTube video or whatever. I'm talking about real ways to connect a display and have it show anything you'd like, just as you would with the wired monitor that might be sitting on your desk right now. One currently popular option is Miracast. This is essentially an HDMI connection over Wi-Fi that works if you're using a computer or other device that has Wi-Fi built in. The nice thing about Miracast is that it doesn't need to go through a router. Rather, it forms a direct connection from your computer to your display, so you can use it even if your wireless network is slow or if there isn't one available at all. In Windows 10, simply click Connect in the Action Center, and that will cause your system to scan for available Miracast displays. Click the one you'd like to connect to, and you are all set. In theory. Although there are displays with Miracast baked in, as well as HDMI adapters that enable it, Miracast isn't compatible with everything. Android devices dropped support for it some time ago, Mac and iOS users instead have to use AirPlay, which, by the way, does require a proper Wi-Fi network. And for devices without Wi-Fi at all, like a desktop PC, well, no luck there either. So if you want some more flexibility, you might want to look at a standalone wireless display kit that lets you plug an HDMI-connected transmitter into your PC or your source device, even a camera, for example, and an HDMI receiver to your display. These devices often use standards that transmit data quickly enough to avoid the huge loss in video quality through compression that can be a big problem with Wi-Fi based solutions. So then, with all those benefits and both Miracast and standalone kits even supporting 5.1 surround audio, just like a physical HDMI cable, why aren't we all using them right now? Well, it turns out you're gonna run into issues no matter which wireless display implementation you choose. Even if you go for a low compression, non-Wi-Fi solution, because wireless connections are nearly always slower than their wired counterparts, and wireless display tech is no exception, it's more difficult for these signals to carry the higher amounts of data needed for a high-res picture. So, want 4K? Well, get ready to spend a lot of money if you can find something at all. And of course, we haven't even gotten to the elephant in the room, the slow elephant in the room, lag. Because these compressed wireless signals require extra processing at both ends, you'll probably experience more latency with a wireless display. This means that you'll have small delays when you do anything like move your mouse or type a sentence, which might be fine for writing an email or giving a PowerPoint presentation, but it can be so bad as to cause desync issues with video playback, and it's almost guaranteed to be a killer for gaming. Making matters worse, many wireless HDMI kits perform best over very short distances and with a direct line of sight between your source device and your display, making them, once you factor in that you have to run a power cord to them anyway, so you're not going full wireless, actually a lot more work to set up than you might have initially imagined. So then, unless you really need a display in a spot where you just can't run a cord to it, I wouldn't bother investing money in extra equipment to make your setup wireless for now. Besides, this gives you an opportunity to practice good cable management, which I know is everyone's favorite part of setting up their battle station. 
Do you find yourself racing against the clock as a freelancer? It's challenging, but thanks to the internet, there's never been more opportunities for the self-employed. I heard that there are even people out there who make videos, upload them online, and they get paid for it. What is that? Anyway, FreshBooks is the online accounting software that's designed for the way you work. It's the simplest and easiest way to be more productive, organized, and perhaps most importantly, get paid more quickly. You can create and send professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds. You can set up online payments with just a couple of clicks to get paid up to four days faster. You can see when your client has seen your invoice and put an end to the guessing games. And you can track your time and your expenses on the go with the fully featured Android and iOS apps. So FreshBooks is offering a 30-day unrestricted free trial to our viewers. To claim it, go to freshbooks.com slash techwiki and enter techwiki in the how did you hear about us section. We're going to have that linked below. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, dislike, check out our other channels, leave a comment with video suggestions, and subscribe. Is this how they do it? Kids do it?